Wow, man, that song. Kai, <clears throat> how many of you remember that song, you know? The days when songs are full of nice lyrics that when you hear music, it takes you somewhere. Those days, if you watch those days, men know how to talk to women. That's because of the environment we grew up in. You watch this, the nice movies, good lines, lyrics. And this society was very co cohesive. There was cohesion in families, strong families. And you think it's a coincidence that since the song started becoming about women drinking, gambling, shooting, all these things, that will have a society that behaves like that because you add the information you receive. Whatever the music you hear, the people you surround yourselves with, the 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 friends you keep around, they they they, they are the things that manufacture your reality. And those days come out. Wow. I don't know when Next, we'll see someone like that again or hear songs like this again. Come on, we live in a generation where people think that Maroon 5 is a good musical band. <laughs> Maroon 5. <laughs> Those days, in our days, in our days, Westlife don't even cut it. Westlife was like for kids, but now go play Westlife. It's like one nice uh, this thing. But those days, the stage was jam packed with people. How that? But come on, that's not what we're going to talk about. I know some of our brothers and sisters are in the clubs right now. Or those at home are very drunk. You know, they've slept. And I'm um, sorry we are doing this one very late. But I just had the need to do it because tomorrow I want to focus on religion tomorrow. So I want to just talk this politics this evening. We Nigerians know that uh, 2019 have come on, come and gone, and many Nigerians are a lot of Nigerians are disappointed. Most Nigerians, especially people from the south, the southern Nigeria, south east, south 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 west, they are highly disappointed. Let me say, 85 percent of them. Then the North Central, they are divided somehow. The North East, <laughs> for whatever reason, I don't know why they didn't uh, uh, turn up very well uh, for the other guy. Then the North West, forget it. Buhari was just there. He just swept everything. But now we ordinary Nigerians, we are disappointed in this election, in the outcome of the election. Buhari has gone there. He has made a lot of changes. The Chief Justice of Nigeria was removed. And now he selected a core Sharia. <laughs> Come on. Have you asked yourself why the Chatham House will choose such a person at this point in time in Nigeria? Have you have you asked yourself that question? Forget the lists. There before your president. Uh, oh, there are people that give your president names. He will select from. Yeah. There are people that select them. All those guys, all the time you are seeing them flying abroad every minute. Sometimes you see them, they are not even in office. Not as if they don't want to come. Go to home, they are not at home. You will see them moving in from one, one embassy to another. One embassy to another. What do you think they are? Do you think they are looking for visa? That's because... Those places are the offices where they go to get their matching orders. Thanks, one. And now Buhari 
has decided to choose someone who is basically an Islamist or let me say uh, Islamist uh, fundamentalist to be the Chief Justice of Nigeria and the people are here shouting revolution, revolution. What do you understand by revolution? What revolution are you talking about? You want to start a revolution when you don't even know that there is an ongoing revolution already. Would you know revolution when you see it? Sometimes I use it to mock them. It's like an insult. I said you wouldn't know revolution even, even if it hits you on the head like a bat. You wouldn't know it. There is an ongoing revolution already and you don't know it. Yet somehow you think you can overturn the outcome of an election in a country like Nigeria. Who is selling you that bull? Who is selling you that nonsense? Is it the same people that didn't allow any third candidate to participate in the election? They are now funding you people, sponsoring social media campaigns. They are using the so-called social media influencers. Those guys are not social media influencers. They are journalists. They are citizen journalists. But they are sellouts. They have blogs that they monetize. So they, they would want to be putting out those sponsored uh, uh, editorials in the form of news. And you people are reading it. Taking it as news, they are using it to stir you up. They are telling you that if it happened in Sudan, that it will happen in Nigeria. Well, let's dis discuss it. The Sudanese all have one single purpose. The Sudanese have one mission, and they are united in what cause. Now, these people that are shouting against uh, this uh, uh, Buhari, Fatiku, Fatiku, go and look at them. If push comes to shove, they will not stand at one front. Because even among them, okay, give them a leadership position to fill. They will still start talking about uh, uh, who is going to lead this thing. Is a Muslim. Buhari is a Muslim. How can a Muslim lead us against Buhari, who is a Muslim too? If we give it a Christian, the Muslim will say, hey, are you people sure of what uh, these people are doing? Are they not just attacking uh, Buhari because he's a Muslim? Now, the other group, the, la the, the loudest group there, would have to be IPOB. And IPOB people will tell you, man, this is your Nigeria issue. You can deal with yourselves. And when they move, they move in droves. When you see a lot of them move, now the other movement has been subdued. So you find out that this is not like Sudan. In Sudan, the protest was, was started by who? A student. And it started from the school because the demands of the students is still the, the same demands of the masses. What did they do? All of them joined. They rallied up. The military saw that these people are going to take over power. They did like, they just did a coup. A military junta replacing another military junta to give the people resemblance of, a, of a, a liberation. And a lot of people came online. People were doing video. Uh, the, this thing in Sudan, revolution has happened in Sudan, this and that, they've done this, they've achieved this, Sudan has done it. Are you not going to say anything about it? And I ask them, what revolution? What, what are you celebrating exactly? They replace a military guy with another military guy and you are celebrating. I said, you are not even paying attention to the real people that are living, leading the movement. They don't even want these people and you are celebrating. Just like they celebrated in Congo. That Kabila didn't win. His candidate lost. Well, the guy that they gave the thing did not win either. The Congolese are still protesting. Right now. Go and check. 
The place is in turmoil. It's the same thing in Nigeria. Every country is unique. We are one Africa. We are one black nation. But in that nation, we have our own tribes. Tribes. Africa don't have countries. We have tribes. And because the, we have tribes, everybody knows their, their boundaries. Because we establish our boundaries, you give us, if you have what we need, we'll come and trade with you. We trade. That's how communities were trading. And that time, you don't have inflation. You don't have poverty. If you are working, you must eat. If you are not working, you go hungry. Then they gave us this system. With this type of system, in a country like Nigeria, where you have how many languages being spoken? Over 300. A lot of Nigerians don't know that the, this Igbo house, this Wazobia, is a false narrative. It's a false doctrine. What made Nigeria Wazobia? What happened to the Benins? Even in the Dutch state, you have Benin, you have this Ishan, you have Auchi. It's a couple people there. How many nations do you think are in a Dutch state? How many nations do you think are in Delta state? How many nations do you think are in River state? How many nations do you think are in Bayasa? How many nations do you think are in Cross River? Or Kwaibo? Kogi state, how many nations are there? What about Benue? Even the Yoruba you are talking about, they have the Egba, they have the Awori, they have the Ijebu people. Ekiti people are different. Ondo people are different. Akoko Edo Day. Go to the north, the same thing. Yet you are going, you think you are going to stir up a problem in a nation like this. And not expect it to be catastrophic. Now, all the PDP chieftains, all these people that are setting up these cases, where are their children? Where are their children? If that protest will pay, do you think they will allow you people to be the leaders? No, they will put their own children there. You are what they call collateral damage. That's why you see them when they talk, they say, I, I will send my people out. I will send my people. Your people you are sending out. How many are your biological children? How many are your relatives? Then when they kill 20 people, they will go and put the pictures of 20 dead people. See what they are doing to you. See, just to gather sympathy to them. That sympathy, that will to get power is more important to them than the lives of ordinary people. This article you people, are, you people want to go and fight for. Where has he been all these years? Let's see. Oh, he hasn't even worked all his life. Yeah. Remind me again that time Atiku opened a, a business. No, he didn't. Free government school to working in, a, in government, working in custom. He was a top boss in custom. In the customs, Nigerian customs service. Look at the customs. You see the oil, oil sector in Nigeria. You see maritime. You see customs. These people. And ask yourself, can a righteous person, can a righteous human being get such a top position in customs? You must be part of the system. Then, when customs, when uh, 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 Nigeria was transitioning into democracy, because he was with the powers that be, he got into government. Is he the only person from Adamawa State? Only him got 
to custom uh, to the position he got in customs. Not as if he's qualified. Atiku is not a very sophisticated human being. He's not even a good deal maker. Just that he has a good heart. But he's not a sophisticated politician. He just has. He just. He's just lucky to have strong backers. A lot of you don't know. If you check the history of Atiku's family. They will be telling you that there are poor, this, that, that. Can you trace his generations, like, can you trace uh, his uh, roots to, let me say, three generations back? You can't. There is a reason. Those people's history are limited. Their histories are usually limited to their parents. Because when you go beyond their parents, you start going into a deeper rabbit hole. Well, just tell me that magic that he will do, that he didn't do all the while he was in government. Tell me how exceptional he has shown himself to be in any position he has, he has, he has held. Koja 2003. His planning and hosting was done from the office of the vice president. It was Atiku. That Abuja Stadium was supposed to be 80,000 sitting capacity. Nigeria had a lot of money then because the war in Afghanistan and the problem with Iraq that time made oil. Nigerian oil a much sought after commodity. Now go and check how much they said they used there. They wasted a lot of money. They stole a lot of money there. From his own office. He worked under Obasanjo. Atiku wouldn't have had problem with Obasanjo had Obasanjo not uh, wanted to go for third uh, tenor. Everything they privatized in Nigeria, he has his own share. He has his share in Transcorp. His money is in Dangote Group too. How many oil wells does he have? You don't know. Atiku is one of the richest men in the world. Go and check. During PDP primaries, do you know how much this guy was buying delegates for? The smallest people were getting $4,000, $4,500, $5,000. For one vote, for one vote, now calculate how many votes he got in the primaries. Should we do the math? Yes, no, if you want me to be using a graphics to demonstrate, you just let me know here and I will do it. We'll do the math uh, because I want to get the exact number. Or would it waste time because it's night, you know, we are doing uh, this late program. Please let me share this thing. Let people come on. We need people to come on uh, and watch this. Let me share it, please. I know it's late. Do you know how much world chairman we are getting in that primaries? Tambua was crying in the venue. At that their uh, PDP uh, uh, primaries venue, they all saw it. Prior to that primaries, Atiku was polling ahead of Buhari in almost every state in the North Central. In the North East, he was neck and neck with him. Until that primary. Now, let me tell you where Atiku lost this election. It was in the primaries because he pushed, every, he muzzled his way in. Those guys decided, you know what, we are going to show you. Go on Twitter, go, go and check old tweets that day. What was happening that day? 
Out of anger, those people were like, okay, you want to replace Buhari. Now you are bringing the same old system that brought in Buhari. We might as well continue with Buhari. That was how Atiku lost the election. They rigged the election, but let me tell you, if the powers that control the states don't want the elections to be rigged, they wouldn't be rigged. Yes. That is why you see the president, instead of him to campaign, and you say you just visit once in one region, he just touched maybe in Ebola and he touched two states or three states. He will go there and do this thing, but you see the the uh, uh, regional controllers of uh, every part going to Abuja every time during that time. Because those people are telling them, we have the masses, we have this, we can do this, we can deliver. Now they will give you quote, they will give you a quota that you have to do a rally that will bring at least 100,000 people or 20,000 people or 50,000 people. Can you do it? You say, yes, what will it cost? They will give them billions of Naira. Billions of Naira are being mapped out for all these things. Then when they give them the money, they will, they will go and tell all these... Uh, Pen pushers you are seeing in the street, they will call them. Can you arrange 200 people? He said, Yes, how much will you take? He said, Give me two million naira. Wow. They will give you two million naira. He will come and give you people three, three thousand to come that day, and you will get a bus. That is how you are seeing they are paying those people. Almost everybody you are seeing in all PDP and APC rally got paid to be there. They all got paid to be there. I have been in the system. I know how it works. Okay, Jeffrey, you can come on and tell me why you disagree with me. That is how they organize these campaigns, these rallies. Those are not organic rallies. The women, the women groups, they will start paying them. That's why all those uh, party women, you know, in the streets that are sleeping around, all those uh, people, sorry, I don't want to start judging people now. But you know them, you have them in your areas. That's how they are, that's where the money they are getting during the election comes from. It's not those ones that are giving you when you are going to vote in the post to take a grand vote. No, not those ones. They mobil when they say mobilization, they mobilize them with money. They give them money. They take that money and start paying. Then when the president comes, he will say, oh, yes, this is a big, this thing. He say, yeah, we can work with this one. Then they will take up the organizer of that rally. They bring you to Abuja. They will tell you or during convention, bring all this crowd. See how many people you can bring to Abuja. That day you see them, you know, they will just chatter buses. Some of them will even pay for hotels. They will pay for hotels and come, let's go. They will pay you 5,000 naira every day. And many will be eager to go some, oh, let me go and see Abuja. Too, I'm going to get paid. I'll get free food. We'll sleep in hotel. It's just a part of travel. They will go. Then when they see all those rallies, with that rallies and televisions, all these things, they begin, those things are working on the psychic of the people. People say, oh, this person has support. Then people, when they are talking in the street, this person will be talking as if he knows what he's saying. And the other guy will be agreeing because they are watching the TV. Man, this guy has support too. Man, this guy is more popular. This guy is more popular. Now, or popular on what? What policies are they lining up? Ask yourself, these two people, are they the only two people running? No. But you are taking them serious because when you are watching the TV, every time they are mentioning their names, they are buying up all the ad spaces on, on newspaper. Do you know how much it takes, it costs to buy one page on newspaper or of an ad on newspapers? If it's for political reasons, go and check it. 
politics and uh, maybe marketing advertising for advertisement for your, or advertisement of your products there are two different things they have different pr prices go and check pick any newspaper just pick anyone go and check their ad rates check it now the people that have real policies don't come in because they can't swim with the sharks This is article that I just did. All these things I just described to you are the things article did. I was mocked here in Turkey when at, somebody called me and said that uh, he wants me to be a part of uh, article team in Turkey. One Yoruba guy. I don't want to mention his name, but I've shown someone the, the text, uh, uh, the screenshot of the messages. He mocked me. When Article 1, the primary, he texted me and said, see, I told you to come, you did it. I laughed. I said, man, good luck to you people. The only reason I said that was, and I meant it, because I didn't like the way Buhari was handling things. The man was very sick. Then it's a bit better now. I said, okay. Now after article lost, I waited until I, I, I think it was, uh, which day was that? I, I think it was in June. I texted him, I said, my friend, how far? Buhari don't enter now. He, did, he read it, he did it as after like, uh, he didn't reply after like 30 minutes, he just said some kind of reply, I'm like, oh, you see. The same thing PDP were doing was the same thing Atiku did. And somehow he thinks he can replace Buhari. Has he asked his, himself what made Jonathan lose the election? Jonathan did not win the PDP primaries. He wasn't popular in that PDP primaries. Let me tell you, people. But he used money. He went to the north and gave them money for Almajiri schools. The ones they built, the ones they didn't build. He muzzled his way, and those people were like, okay, we are going to show you. They moved. Plus the seven governors that already left. That was what lost Jonathan the thing. He was incompetent. Whatever you think about El Rufai, whatever you think about Nuhuri Badu, whatever you think about Donald Duke, or the Emir of Kano, Sanusi, Soludo, whatever you think about these men, those are the people who will tell you the truth. Not all the time, but mo most of the times. And especially when it comes to where it has to be said, how it must be said. The same thing that made Jonathan lose is the same thing that made Atiku lose. But now, they are now sponsoring everything, telling you revolution, revolution. These people didn't care about you. How many of them pandered to you for your vote? Other than them, you see them eating corn in the streets. Entering public buses. How many of them told you exactly how the like article? You don't need to be telling us what you will do. Tell us what you've done. There is nothing he could show. The same rhetoric. The campaign promises are the same. The only thing they change is date. Vision 2024. Soon it will start. Vision 2000, we didn't see it. Vision 2010, cha. Millennium goal. Millennium goal was supposed to uh, uh, do this. Uh, they, were supposed, they were supposed to achieve it uh, before 2000. They shifted it. Even as of 2015, they were still talking about millennium goals. I wonder why they retired that word. Where are the goals? The same people who were running it then are the ones telling you that they are going to fix it.
The man didn't even prepare for the election. Buhari was busy doing his underground works while these, while these ones were there shouting. Intelligent people were telling them, <laughs> do not underestimate this man. Who are the people Atiku was working with? He was relying on his uh, CIA masters. Guess what? The real people that control the State Department are working closer to the Chatham House than Donald Trump. They are the globalists. And Trump himself, look at the people, he's, he's a, he's a, 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 a CIA director. Then, Mike Pompeo. Before he became Secretary of State. Was uh, the former mobile guy, Exxon mobile guy, that was the Secretary of State before Pompeo. All of them, they are globalists. They are closer to the Chatham House. So you are expecting them. They are going to shaft you. You are relying on the server. Guess what? They wiped the thing before. Trump's poli so foreign policy team are just zero. John Bolton, Pompeo, uh, what's her name? The former U.S. Nikki Haley. In fact, the, the 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 thing is so empty that they they need they went and brought back Elliot Abrams, the people that ran the Iran, Iran contra under the Bush uh, Bush Reagan administration, because the only the things left there are just George Bush beat him. You don't match them up against these guys at Chatham House. The five, the five uh, eyes are liars. One guy said something on Tucker Carson last night. He said the people that want to attack Iran are the people that can't even even carry out a coup, a factory coup against a, a failing uh, 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 South American, con Latin American country, Venezuela. The people who can't even succeed in a coup in Venezuela with all their military might and powers. These are the people he was relying on. Now the same reporters they were shunning, then are the same people they are funding. They are using the churches to do it too. Look at Justice Suleiman. Has men attack, has men attack. Yes, it's happening. But do not let people politicize it. These people that are pushing you to shout as men attack, as men attack, they were there when this thing began. They didn't stop it. And they need all these problems. It helps them for their political, uh, 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 for political purposes. For political purposes. It helps them. They are not shouting. These people, where they live, the husband don't attack them. That's why you see some of them that are eyeing the presidency in 2023 want to bring Ruga. Go and check. The only people that are not talking against Ruga are the people that want to bring it. And all of them have uh, their eyes on 2023. Even those in PDP and those in APC. Yes. You think Uguani doesn't want to go to the federal? Dave Umahi, all of them have ambitions. You don't see Ihedi or Hafimo State saying that thing. One, it will be problematic to raise such an issue in Imo State. Two, he, he, knows that, he knows that when he do that, he's done for. His re-election, he should forget the re-election. He's done for. Obi are not there not say it. Although he may want to do it. That guy is an intelligent politician. 
He knows how to take sides through silence. You don't hear him make noise, but he's controlling a whole state like Anambra, the biggest state in Igbo land. I'm not talking by landmass. I'm talking by what Igbos are known for. The biggest, by far the wealthiest state in Nigeria, per capita. Go and check it. By far the wealthiest. Yet the governor, you think that if you are not smart or intelligent, you will be the governor and be able to hold that uh, 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 state cohesively. Even P2B didn't even hold the state the way Obiano is holding it. Those are the people that remain silent because they have ambition. He told P2B, he told him, he made it, he, he, he clearly made it known to him that you're going to lose an umbrella state, and he lost. Imagine where they come to a state like an umbrella state. They said PDP got 80,000 votes. APC got that 3,000. My friend APC won. Yes, because that is supposed to be the solid base of PDP, the block vote. The people didn't even care to register <laughs> to vote. And you, you, the same people are here shouting everybody has won. Yes, of course. He has won and you can't do anything about it. If something comes out out of the uh, 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 the judicial process they are going through, fine, but if nothing comes up, Nigerians' article is not worth your blood. You don't need to lose sleep over a position that will favor article. If what is going to replace Buhari is article, man, let the man continue. If article can by any means win in the uh, in the court then if the supreme court awards him the judgment the president doesn't obey it that time will come out if not let them go to the court if they use rng politics to do it leave it article is a part of it now where was article's voice when they were excluding uh, uh, parties from political debate where was his voice then hmm where was Atiku's voice? They excluded a, 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 a contestant from a political uh, 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 debate. And he didn't say anything. Everyone knows that as, long as, as far as the, the presidential election was concerned, it was PDP and APC, then AAC. Why were they allowing the other pygmies? AAC has more support and is more popular than other people. Where was Atiku's voice in that? He didn't say anything because he thought he was going to win. Those things were favoring him. Now the same fan base of AAC and the people who are sympathetic to AAC are the ones. They are now trying to use your energy to achieve what they didn't achieve uh, through the polls. If Atiku has any scintilla of decency or shame in him, he wouldn't come and say that Buhari rigged the election because the ones he has been, he has been uh, uh, enjoying, he rigged them too. Eh? Is this thing we normally say in Nigeria? A married man is saying that his side chick is cheating on him. And you are making noise about it. A married man. You are so shameless that you are going about saying that your side chick is cheating on you. This is what Article is doing. If Article gets in there, Guess the people he will surround himself with. The same people who help him, helped him get into power. Who are just the same people we are running away from. So, 
Well, are we not misplacing our loyalty here? What are we getting from it? This is politics. It's transactional. Buhari rigged the election. Didn't Atiku rig his own election? He Atiku rigged the primaries too. Atiku rigged the primaries too. Wait, let me bring up. That's G. Wait, let me bring uh, Nnamek after then. I think it be his own election. If it was Tambua, I would have said yes. He won it. Look at how many votes Tambua got. Look at how much he spent. Hello, my brother. Good evening. Hello? I hear you. Can you hear me? Okay. Yeah, I can hear you now. I can hear you. Good evening. Good evening, my brother. Yeah. I'm joining you from Mexico. Okay. Ah, it's good afternoon over uh, afternoon over there, right? Yes, yes. It's afternoon here. Yeah. It's almost it's almost um it's almost six PM in the evening here. Okay. Okay. My go brother, on. my brother, um, <laughs> this thing that you are saying, many people cannot understand it, and many will not still understand it. Both Atiku, both Buhario, both Abasanjo, all those people are all the same. The only savior, the only savior that will save that country is. Organic revolution, organic one, to bring somebody neutral that can be a leader of that country. Apart from that, any other thing that they are doing will still bounce back at the same spot. Nothing will save them. Nothing will save them. Even if they see um, in one way or the other, um, hand over to Atiku. Tomorrow, Atiku will still maintain that status quo. The same thing, nothing will change. PDP, APC. Hey, 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 the people, the, the people, if you are getting angry, get angry. They will stop getting angry on my this thing, please. <laughs> eh? Get angry on, in your house. Don't stop. See, I have my own problems. I have my own problems. <laughs> hey, whoever is doing this, I'm not joking with you. Please, Man, <laughs> if you are not the only Man, agree Nigeria here, yeah. all of us, Man, they vex. Man. See, everybody, they vex here. Yeah. No, they put they angry face here. Yeah. <laughs> nah. They don't know, sir. I don't want you. I block you. I don't want you block you. Go on. Man, they don't know, sir, with the vex, pass them. Uh -huh. They don't know, with the vex, pass them. Uh -huh. <laughs> they don't know, we, we're there for outside it. The vest pass them because I'm waiting. It. Our problem don't multiply. If we get two problems before, now now six problems we will get now. Yes. So if then they say that the vest now we the vest pass them. So my brother, that's the why they tell you me when you see here. I follow put rota to Korocha in 2011. Yes. That time where he enter as a governor. I follow up with them. But not everything where person go come online, come talk. Yeah. You understand me? So yes. anything where that they do, me, I don't do them. I don't that's about that me may have politics the world well. About them not the yes. center. Not the center, both the bad and the good and the ugly. Yes. So as you talk this thing, the thing if I don't contribute. My mind no go rest because me I understand what you they talk. What you they talk now? Pure analysis. You are analyzing it the way it is. So on your at least you, you can confirm. You can confirm what I said that all of the rallies are all arranged with money. Of Every course, single of course. Thing there is paid. Of course, of course, that one is confirmed. 
Nobody will come on air and argue you. That is confirmed. Whether they later rig the election or no, or no. Both PDP and the APC are guilty of what you have just said. 100%. They know now. Yes. No A lot of our people don't know. A lot of people don't know that when you see that crowd, you see all those crowd you are seeing, all the money, <laughs> all of them, all of them, the money stand there. So the people, the people money stand there. <laughs> That's why you see some. You see sometimes they will organize the rally. The person they will tell you uh, something came up. He didn't come again. He can't make it. Everybody will disperse. He wouldn't even offer much of an apology because it's his money. Did you exactly. waste your money to come? He paid for your hotel. Paid for everything. Exactly. So that is why sometimes when they get there, they feel like they don't owe you anything. Exactly. Go on, exactly. So that is the, the simple truth. So. You are giving them the information for free of charge. For free of charge. <laughs> you understand me? You are giving them the information free. But uh, who knows? We are in this no, no. Okay, thank exactly. you, my brother. We'll, we'll You're we'll welcome. Continue. I appreciate you. Yeah. Let, me, let, 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 let me go for other people. Okay, okay, okay. All right, bro. Jeffrey, send me a request if you want to come on. Where is Jeffrey? Okay, let me add Jeffrey. Jeffrey, I'm adding you. Hello, Jeffrey. Oh, Jeffrey, you are not uh, answering. So, my people. Okay. Hello, bro. I agree to. I agree to too. Thank you very much for the fight. Mm -hmm. You know, so if I say we did the same boat now, not the correct word. So we did the same land because the boat okay. came on the top of the sea. Yeah. You know? So we did the same to come. Um, about the can you stop moving? Election. Stop moving. The the there is a noise coming there when you move. I mean, okay. Yeah. Are you hearing? No. Yeah, it's, it's, yeah, it's okay now. Lost of election, you know. For my own viewpoint and my own research, you know, about the uh, article and the boring. You know. And for your own teaching, right from the one I started following you. So I combined it together. You understand me, sir? So I understand that about the sickness of Buhari during the time of a uh, uh, um, campaign. So that is the, that is the plan. It was going. Brother, to brother, please. That phone. There is something you are using there. No, this the the mic on live. This thing is too much. Can you just keep oh, the right. phone somewhere? That noise is disturbing. I can hear you. The voice is no. There is no problem. Just drop the phone somewhere. Stop moving it around. I hold it with my hand, you know. Oh, uh, you let me say, okay. Yeah, hold it. Uh, just let me say, there was a noise coming let me, out. Let me rescind you a uh, uh, request against Bera, you know, because this is a mother. No, it's okay thing. now. It's okay now. It's okay. It's okay now. Yeah, because I just hold the phone with my hand. So I don't no, know. It's okay. It's okay now. There was the noise like a plastic or a bag before. All right, then. All right. All right. All right. Sorry. Sorry about that, bro. You know. So, okay. No problem. So that sickness will go to treat for uh, London or every time. So, about your teaching, about what I've read, you know, about the loss of the election. So, I combined it together so to realize that it's the same London, the people, that back Buhari. You understand me, so? Because right from the day I started following you, anything about, I, I, I'm, I was a politician, you know, anything about politics, you have said, I always replay it, you know? So that is why I get some wisdom from some people. I don't know if you understand. So I so much believe that it's because of that uh, London, it was going every time. So those people, if you see article camp, it does not even flag up in London or England, you know? You understand? Yeah, because so, he knows he knows that he is swimming against the tide. The people that put Buhari still want him there. 
You understand? No, oh, you, you understand me so. So that's so you have said it before, time, time. You know, go back to your video. This word which you just said so. You have said it before. You understand? So that is why I disagree. It's not maybe by all those kind of uh, ringy, you know. Uh, you know, yeah, so that yeah. is why I disagree. Okay, I didn't. Uh, I was the one who didn't understand you very well. Very good. That is why I disagree. Not on that thing. Okay. <laughs> You understand okay, me? So. Okay, okay, yeah, okay, so, okay. No, okay, so, okay. Now so, I understand. Another, another thing when I want to let my people know right away, you know. Um, they should not be following the manner you put uh, a condition of Nigeria or Puari now. Because there is a manner you put it. Some people get hungry. They think that you are supporting Buari as present. They talk like that. I'm telling you, bro. So they should not consider the way you voice out, you know? They should consider the word you just say. It's very important. So the other guy was saying organic uh, uh, revolution. Yes, we call it uh, organic, we call it uh, with a big English. That is the problem, you understand? So we have to break it down to people. We have to put it in a very polite way. That is Niger for you, brother. If you talk to Nigeria through, you go say you be, be shout for her, or you insult your yes. elder. No, <laughs> not be insult. I must tell you, not be insult. PDP, they destroy Nigeria. Where? That's PDP. Yes. yes. I'm a Benima. I'm a Benima. Where? Where? Any politics in Benin? There's no one I cannot tell you. Let me just give you one example. The late Tony Anene. You know the guy? Yes. Yes, so that, from Uromi. I know his house. I know his house Very in cool. Uromi. In Efandion. If you yeah. are going from Ambo, just before Angonaiti, his house yeah. is just by the right. Yeah. If you are going to Efandion yeah. College, that's a secondary school. That, that I know his house. I have been there. I my brother, please, there are things no, we I want to tell be... you. No, I want to tell you. Let me uh, no no, it's not by rounding up. We have to hit the truth, man. That is our. That's our logo. No, bro. Don't. If yeah. you know, people, if you know, I'm not going through you. Then, then you challenge me. You put me through. Yeah. We have to hit. It. Nay. I want to tell you. You know, my own state is a part of the problem of Nigeria today. Let me tell you. During the time of Obasanjo, John, this guy. You know. During the time of Obasanjo, John, Igbene John was there. The song. You understand me soon? Then what yes. brings uh, Daisy, you know, uh, Anire Danjuma, the Danjuma wife from Edo State, you know? He's a senator. Uh, I didn't know. Oh, God. <laughs> Bro, we have to be talking, man. So that, you know, so uh, Anire Dan Danjuma was a minister of defense then. This is the Danjuma. Yes. You know that? He was once a minister of defense. I'm ready. Just go. Great. So. Go so right now, there's a man, one faithful man in Benin City. The name is Cap uh, uh, Polosa. He has many companies, you know? In, in, know. in Yeah, yeah. he lives in a Kama Road. So the man wanted to be a senator. So it is Dan Juma that called Ibn Dion, say, if, if his wife not go senator, your, your son not go go sec uh, the, uh, the second term. What do you mean? This is the real... Politics in Benin. You understand? So then he, he lucky try, uh, insulted uh, Anene, the late Anene. So the let the, the matter we, they have they have to bring the matter to the main place in Benin City. If I say the main place, you know what I'm talking about. Yeah, 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 yeah. Good. So right now he insulted and then Okada uh, premises was the uh, former secretary, yeah. You understand? So the power of Anene from Fedra, from Danjuma, and of Basajo, that, that guy, oh, that guy refilling Nigeria. So they moved the secretary Yo. overnight with immediate okay. until Polosa, great Polosa. I don't know whether you see her life now. You understand? Great man. He personally give up for the Senate. So that Daisy not, you know, come in as a senator. For his life, and you remember, under Aneni, 
they don't have to beg you too much. In fact, they don't even need to rig the election. PDP you are talking about now. Obasanjo, Tony Aneni, and Co. Which article was part of. Those days, those guys, they don't ask you too much. If you become much of a problem, they kill you immediately. You cannot use... The, the only assassination we witnessed in this last election was all those uh, low, lower class people. And bro, these former... Bro, let me uh, tell you what, bro. Let me tell you. When, you know when an uh, ambassador saw one guy, Olu, get, when, when he get married? Yeah. Yeah. The year... I was in Otafan. The marriage was old there, right? Yeah. So Atiku with Abbasaja was having some problem then. He did not attend the marriage. And Anene is the one that told Atiku that, you know, not to, you know, attend the marriage. Anene were there. Oh, the Abbasaja and they were patrol. I was, I were there. What do you mean? I were there. <laughs> in Ota. So that guy betrayed Nigeria before he died, you know. Yes. So All we have got PDP many politicians who rule like that. Yeah, PDP we have got many people like that. Nigeria. But we cannot continue yeah. live like that. That is why I like Omoye. Let's show worry. I know the next one now. You don't need to say. We don't need to say it in the air. The next, the next one is very strong. The man that's supposed to be that that's supposed to be talking in Nigeria now. They want to come out. Because it not but see the problem, brother. See the brother. See the problem, brother. Now, yeah. let us tell ourselves the truth. I told them that with the with what AAC is doing and the type of people in them, India, and the crowd they are pulling, I told them that AAC would be targeted by the Nigerian government, and the same thing has is starting now. It has started. Do you know that Shawere went back uh, on Thursday, but now he's back in Nigeria? Why? The people want to take AAC uh, from him. Now they waited, they knew when he was leaving, he was on the air when the court gave judgment. <laughs> Behind him, I have not gone deep into the true nature of the problem. But look right now, the AAC people are looking at is now under attack it will be destroyed. And if Shawere don't leave that party, now let me say, nobody has said it before. If Shawere don't leave that party, it will be fragmented that he bro, will, it bro, will be bro, very... Listen, that is why I tell you there is something strong that is coming on. You understand? So, <laughs> let's forget about that now. There is something hey, strong. Somebody, hold on, hold on, brother. Brother, hold on, brother. Somebody said AAC was used against Wike in reverse. Okay, now let me tell you. Yuka. The people fighting... Wait, brother, let me tell this brother what's happening about that river state. The people fighting Showare now are fighting him because he wasn't in support of what they were going to do in river state. Exactly. That thing they were doing. He was against it. He was never in support of toppling Wike. Exactly. Do you understand it? So just put, uh, remember that. Go on, brother. So, yeah, yeah, so as you just explained to him, it's left for him to go and replay the video again so that we understand what we, what we are talking about. So there is a organic, and according to that, my brother that lives in Mexico, so that is coming up. So you just said it. You always prophesy something, you know? That is why at times it pays you with some uh, fake uh, pastors. They are scamming people, you know? You say, oh, oh my God. <laughs> so you do hear the... <laughs> you no, you the... know, we just have to... <laughs> We don't have to touch every angle. That's the thing. Yeah, you understand? The truth has to be said. We don't have to be afraid of anything. You understand me, so? So somebody better die for truth, that die for lies and mystery, all those kind of uh, shit, you know? Poverty. Of you understand? Course. So we, didn't, we, we if you see people that uh, that say the truth, they don't look uh, like hunger, you know? People that, you know, people that don't have food to eat or whatever, you know? So you will see the sign yes. of truth on them. You understand, Mr. Brother? We so not thank you very much. We, not yeah. money. we just want a better place to live we work. in. No, if we there work. Is a no. We work. You understand? People back home think, people back home don't know that we even love it, we even love home more than them. That, because we are talking know. about these things. We don't like when we come back home, there is no electricity, no good road. If you're driving your car, you will be insulting people from here to wherever you're going. 
those people that may be trying to to dodge the uh, this thing uh, uh, potholes and all that all those you are angry from the moment you come in there to the moment you leave so we are doing it because we want our place see how I'm, where I am I've never come back home thinking that I wouldn't have electricity at home I have electricity I have water I have gas I pay for it I have it in Nigeria people are paying for it they don't even have it they are not getting it we know these things that's why we are concerned my brother let me give uh, you the yeah, last yeah. word for the I'm, benefit yeah. for the, for the benefit of those people <laughs> who said maybe who think maybe I think we will win in any way <laughs> my brother I forget you know if they like they go court for for New York so, I brother, we, okay, please. we never win that case, brother. Forget please, it, mm. brother. Please let me let me drop this call and bring this guy, Chuka Gas. Let me bring him. There all are, right, that's all I want to address. Please, thanks, Chuka Gas. I can't uh, bring you from here. Send me a request. I want to reply you this thing in camera. Send me a request. Now, let me tell you. He said he was used against Deziani. Are you going to defend Deziani? No, like seriously. Are you going to defend that woman that embezzled the, 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 the national treasure? Are you really going to defend her? Really? If Desiani was from the north, will you be saying this thing? No, I'm asking you. Just because... Desiani has a name that sounds like the one from your place. Is the reason you're going to defend Desiani? Do you know how much that woman is holding? Do you know how much is involved? Even the British want to give her up now very soon. Yes, because they've seen many things. Buhari is using Trump against them. Now they want to give her up. Hey, this woman, did you see her home? Even the swimming pool has bulletproof. The elevator, bulletproof. The doors, the windows, everything. Thick bulletproof homes. Do you know how much we are talking about here? So you are going to defend the Zian. I am for anybody who will expose any person who stole government money. I don't care whether the person is my brother. I don't care if the person is from wherever. I don't care. You see, Ostametu, if Buhari likes, let him die there. Do you see how much the, 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 these people were moving? They were literally moving money from the central bank to individual pocket. What thing is a lie? Do you, go, go and check the, this on YouTube. Go and watch it. That thing is a lie. I know people who have been inside that home. Have you been there before? Do you know? Do you have people giving you first hand information? Very greedy set of people, my brother. The woman in her, in, in all the while she was the petroleum minister, how much, by how much did the price of gas go down? Hmm? Just tell me how she positively impacted your life. Just tell me. This is the... Uh, is this how the, the... What are the people calling for revolution? Oh, yeah, now you have it. Now you have it. Why would you think that if you call the revolution that the Fulanese will not say that you are just attacking Buhari? That they are using you for propaganda against Buhari? This is how you are sounding to them. And when they see this thing, you, they, they, will, they, 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 are, they will believe their confirmation bias. The more. What is wrong with people? So one of your problems with Shawere was that he was used against Jonathan. Was Jonathan good to you? Was he? Really? We are lucky that this dollar collapse did not meet us under Jonathan. We are very, very lucky. You people would have, would have heard me. In fact, Buhari is the one even running a true economy. Because all those extra fundings they were getting and wasting doesn't come anymore. 
I'm not saying there is no corruption in Buhari's government, that is corruption in Buhari's government. In fact, I'm not going to read any of your comments anymore since you don't want to come on and debate it. There is nothing happening in this administration that is not happening in the previous administration. Even the headsmen attack, just that it moved from the north to the south. And we have smartphones now to see it. Do you know when people left Bornu State, 2002, 12, 2012, people have closed their shops, sold everything and run away. By 2013, uh, everywhere is... In fact, many people left out before 2010. If you don't know. So my people, when we are talking about Nigerian issue, there is nothing anybody can do if the courts didn't award, if the courts don't award Buhari uh, article, the judgment. Please let it go. Let Atiku fight his way. Let him fight his battle. If Atiku's children stand in the road, police will not shoot them. So if he needs protest, let him put his children in front first. His children are in Como, in Italy. Living large. They are known. Not all of his children. Anyway. We don't know how many wives he has. We don't know how many children he has, but I know some, some that are in Como, in Italy. Let him bring them back. Let them come and fight uh, the, for their father's right. When your own father is, is having issues with people, he doesn't call the masses to come. He calls you first. So Atiku should, should just call his own people. If he loses in the court, leave it, let it go. Let us start preparing for 2019. Sorry, 2023. 2019 is gone. It's gone. Forget it. You will not be able to stand the chaos that will ensue if you people want to do this thing the way they are telling you. Those people that are telling you this nonsense, they know that they can't do it by force, but they are willing to sacrifice human lives just to prove a point Buhari is ready to kill anybody who will stand before him and that presidency do you know how long he fought for it you think he's happy that they toppled him he did like he has forgiven a, a IBB when he was running right what did I tell you people <laughs> This thing that he, this, I know this man, he has to do it. He has to do it. He has to bend down to get to where he's going. I told you that when he, the day they were inaugurating Buhari, I told the person I was watching it with in, at a one uh, cargo office in Aksara, I told him, you see all these people on that podium behind him, Buhari near Buhari, all those people, Obas and Joe, all these people that are behind him. That give it two years, Buhari will fuck all of them up. He said, he told you people that how did he say it? Uh, I am I belong to everybody, but I don't belong to no one. How did he say that thing? I belong to everybody and be, and I belong to no one. I don't know how he said it, but you understand the. I don't know the exact quote. Anybody who remembers the quote should should write it for me. That was a warning shot. Some people are interpreting it like uh, he said he will do this. He was talking straight. He was talking to those people there before him. Right now, I have the power. I own it. I control the gun right now. I say what goes. I sit on the head table. I sit on the head chair. That was what he meant. Within how many months, even Tinubu, when he messed up, what did he see? He told you that your wife is not going anywhere. And when Tinubu wanted to make noise, he put him in a dock. Yeah, some people say he didn't, he was not standing, he was sitting. Yes, but it was an insult already for him to be docked. He ducked him to show him that he, you are a nobody. You can do whatever you want to do in Lagos. You don't bring it here. 
You can do whatever you want to do in Lagos, not here. I control here. Now he brought the core people who are closer to him and used them to guide himself. Whether he's in London or he's anywhere, even Yemi Oshimbajo don't do shit. They called for some certain meetings. They sent the vice president out. Where have you seen that thing before? A man who is doing this thing is some is a man they are telling you to go and do what? Confront by force. We want a revolution, we want a revolution. No. You need to join the revolution because already there is a revolution. The revolution is mental. We've tried every other way. Let's go mental. It's the awakening. When people are waking up and sounding sound somehow, they will be feeling the heat, but they don't know who they catch, who to catch. They can't arrest you. And the moment a lot of people start sounding intelligent, you find out that these people will have fear. They know what's going on. They know the feelings of the people. I belong to everybody. I belong to nobody. Yes. That was the warning shot. He told them. So my people, let's not allow ourselves to be used. These people have their agent. Look at what Suleiman did the other day. You remember, Suleiman posted a photo of just one page from the new passport and saying that it's the fullanization of Nigeria. Just one page. He didn't put other pages where the, uh, the Igbo cultures and uh, other people's cultures were depicted. He didn't. It's cow. A cow now is a symbol. Do you, do you see how they've, they've engineered you? They've used fear to conquer you. Haven't, been, haven't you been seeing cows before? Some people will take a photo of uh, cows running down the street. Guess what? We've been seeing cows running down the street all our lives. Look at it. They have uh, share this video. Share, share. Share what? Share what? Forget the hysteria. They are using it for their political purposes. Yes, there is danger. But the noise from left, right, and center, every corner, is making it impossible for us to focus on the real issue. Mieti Allah gave 30 days, right? They used it for diversion, just like Jossi Suleiman did. Jossi Suleiman was showing you people this thing. Coincidentally, it happens to be two to three days before he starts a program in Benue State. Mind you, Benue State is the place that these people have committed the worst atrocity in Nigeria in the last four years. Benue people, the mass burial, 70-something people, 50-something people. That one they said this is 70-something people. Did you count the coffins? Mind you, they buried some people before. It's more than that. Now he is going to conduct a crusade in Benue State. Then he posted just a copy of the, that man should be arrested for trying to stir problem in the society in a country.